This is Keiko, my mother-in-law. She didn't like me. She was always harassing me. My husband and his father told her to stop many times, but she just wouldn't stop. What does she do? Well... The other day, when I was cooking for them, she started cooking next to me. Uh, it's okay, Keiko. Let me... But she ignored me and made herself a bowl of noodles. Why was she doing this? I just stood there speechless. Then she said to me, Oh, you were cooking? Sorry, it didn't look like it, so... And she continued to eat her noodles. What was her problem? I just wanted to slap her. A few days later, we were at her house again. But then, when we were about to leave, my shoes were gone. Have you seen my shoes? Huh? Uh, no. Said my husband. We looked everywhere around the house. A few minutes later, we found my shoes in the backyard. I never went there, so I had no idea how it ended up there. I looked over at Keiko. She was enjoying her cup of tea. Sometimes, she comes over to her house. But whenever I offer her a cup of tea, she says no thanks. She always brought her own for some reason. Uh, you sure you don't want any? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Your tea is too bland. Why was she like this? It was so frustrating. But at least I didn't have to live with her. And everyone else was really nice to me, so... She was just so childish. I didn't want to stoop down to her level, so eventually I just stopped caring. But then, a few days later when we went to their house for dinner, something happened. That night, she made us pork cutlets. But when she brought over my plate, I was shocked. My plate was a mess. She clearly did this on purpose. My plate was the only one that looked like this. What are you doing? Mom, what's wrong with you? The others started yelling at her. Then Keiko's husband grabbed my plate and placed it in front of her, telling her to eat it herself. But she didn't seem to care. What's the big deal? It all ends up in the same place anyways. And I already ate, so I don't want it. Wow. My husband was pissed. We got up and left. Forget about her. I'm never going back there again. He said. You sure? I was kind of relieved to hear that, to be honest. After what she did to you, I'm sure. Takashi, thank you. I hugged him from behind. Then, a few years later, we had our first child. We haven't seen her in years, but maybe we should go say hello. Said my husband, so we went over to Keiko's house. Hey, long time no see, she said with a smile on her face, but something about her felt off. Come on in. As we walked in, she gave me this weird look. Can I hold her? I wanted to say no, but I didn't really have a choice. She's so pretty. She looks exactly like her daddy, but her nose is so flat. I think she gets it from her mother, <laughs> she said to me. Seriously? She hasn't changed a bit. Then she kept going. Why did it take you so long to come over? You didn't even tell me when you got pregnant. You gotta tell me these things ahead of time. I forced myself to smile and said to her, Yeah, sorry. Hey, you hungry? Want me to make you something? Uh, sure. I'll make some noodles then. Oh, okay, thanks. Then I got an idea. Fifteen minutes later, they all started gathering at the dining table. Here you go. When I placed the plates on the table, they all froze up. I filled up one of the bowls with flour instead of noodles. Then I placed the bowl of flour in front of Keiko. Go ahead, it all ends up in the same place anyways, right? Dig in. Her face started turning red. Everyone looked terrified, but I didn't care. I sat down and started eating. The others started eating in silence. Maki, I can't eat this, make it again. She yelled at me. Why not? It all ends up in the same place, right? You said it yourself. Fine, screw you, I'm not eating this. She looked furious. I tried really hard not to laugh. After cleaning up the table, I put on some tea. Then I said to Keiko, Oh, sorry, I didn't make you any. You like to prepare your own tea, right? Well, go ahead, I guess. Here you go, everyone. Enjoy. How dare you! I'm never eating with you again! She stood up. She looked furious. Oh, fine by me. I'm never cooking for you again, so no worries. I said with a big smile on my face. Then I got up to leave. Well then, bye! She kept yelling at us from behind, but we didn't care. Man, that felt good. I'm never going back there again. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Bye!